Hey guys, welcome to a new hair tutorial. Today I am going to show you how to recreate Emma's hairstyle from the 2020 movie Emma after the Jane Austen novel. The hairstyles in that movie aren't exactly historically accurate, especially Emma's, but they do convey the feeling of the era very well, I think, and are very fitting for the movie, which had beautiful aesthetics all around. I must say. It being less historically accurate does actually help us make it a little bit easier to recreate using modern techniques and tools. So this is the hairstyle and this was based off of one of the last scenes in the movie but she wears something similar throughout the film um, either with a bonnet or more embellished sometimes she has more of the little curls or more of the bigger curls anyways i'm going to show you how to recreate it it's not very difficult to do it is a little bit time consuming so let's get started straight away the most important thing about this hairstyle are the curls the various different sizes and shapes of curls so i'm going to start by spraying my hair with some heat protector to make sure i protect it from my heat styling tools when it's evenly coated, I'm going to split my hair into a center parting and start working on one of the sides. I am just going to curl the front sections of my hair to start with. I'm using a fairly small curling iron here and I am going to start by taking the section closest to my face and curling this forward. And it's important to curl this part forward because that's going to create the right direction of curl for that little finger wave thing that she has on the side. So once a curl is finished, I'm going to slide it off of the curling iron and pinch it into a pin curl, which I'm then going to pin to allow it to cool down. And I'm going to move on to the next section, which is going to be the section right behind it. Then I'm going to move down one level of hair sections. <laughs> and this time I'm going to curl away from the face. We want to alternate the directions in this. So I'm going to make two curls here that are going to go backwards. And this is all the hair that I'm going to curl for now. I want to avoid curling hair unnecessarily. I want to avoid as much damage as possible. Once this is done on both sides, I am going to pull my hair back into a ponytail fairly high up on my head. All right, once the curls have cooled down a little bit, I'm going to take them down on one side just for starters, and I'm going to take a comb and comb this through. And now I'm going to try and mold this into that finger wave type of shape. So I am combing the curls back away from my face first, then holding that down, I'm going to pull towards my face and I'm going to just slide in a little duckbill clip here to hold that back away from my face and just slide in another duckbill clip. And the ends of the hair here that I have are just going to be pulled back and secured with a bobby pin right next to my hair elastic. I'm going to spray this down with hairspray to make sure it holds and do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, then with the actual ponytail, I'm going to separate out a fairly small section from the bottom of the ponytail, which I'm going to clip away for now. And all of the rest of the hair, I'm going to curl with that same curling iron. Once that's done, it should look a little something like this. I am then going to take my sock donut. You could use one of those hair donuts that are made of that mesh material. I'm going to slide that around the curled hair, only the curled hair, and secure it to my head just using a couple of bobby pins. And then it's time to start shaping the bun. So basically, the goal here is to completely cover that hair donut by draping the curls over, um, creating little loops in between. Basically, we want this to just look like a big bun of curls. And the donut is going to help create some volume here, especially if you have finer hair like I do. So just try to make sure to evenly cover that donut, make sure the curls are nicely placed throughout the bun. And then it's time to move on to that one straight section that is left and here we are going to make those little curls that Emma wears throughout the movie. I'm going to take a thin wooden object, you could use a pencil, I have a chopstick in this case. I'm going to wrap a very small thin section of hair around this, then come in with a straightening iron and go over that to set the curl and that leaves us with this beautiful small ringlet that is very similar to what Emma wears in the movie. 
So I'm going to do that to all of the sections that are still remaining so that I have this little tail of little curls in the bottom, which I'm then going to split into two and kind of push towards the side so that they're not in the center, but, you know, coming down both sides. Now, in many of the scenes, Emma also has these curls in the front of her hair, so I'm just going to pull out those sections from my hairstyle and do the same thing with the little chopstick and the straightening iron. And then all there's left to do is to remove the tuckbill clips and there is the hairstyle done. And that is the final result guys, the 2020 Emma hairstyle that Emma wears in the movie. So I really hope you enjoyed this video guys and maybe found it helpful if you were planning to recreate that hairstyle. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for loads more beauty and lifestyle content. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there will be links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!